He was a young man from the East Coast, hanging out at bars and playing pool with rough characters once upon a time. He made his way to the West Coast as a comedian and then established what is arguably the biggest interview long-form media format in history, carrying a big stick of influence. Now, in what is arguably one, if not the most important presidential election in history, Joe Rogan is thrown in the ring and has interviewed Donald Trump, who is running to be the president once again of the mighty United States of America. The history of the Joe Rogan experience with politicians, next. Welcome to History Everywhere. I'm your host, William H. Story, and today we're looking at the history of Joe Rogan. His show, The Joe Rogan Experience, and the fact that his podcast has a history of sit-downs with political heavyweights. Let's go through them to understand how we got to this point in American history. It has come down to Joe Rogan, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start at the beginning. The rise of the Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan started his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, in 2009. Originally a place for chill and laid back conversations with comedians and fighters, it quickly grew into a highly influential platform, now reaching 20 million plus listeners on every episode. Known for its uncensored style and format, sometimes reaching three hours, Rogan's podcast is nothing like your typical political interview. Wait until you find out who he has interviewed in the past. Bernie Sanders. It wasn't until 2018 that Rogan started hosting heavyweight political names. One of the first major political guests was Bernie Sanders, who appeared on the podcast during his 2020 presidential campaign. Like him or not, Sanders' interview reached millions of viewers, giving the senator a chance to talk about policy in depth without interruptions or bias. Sanders discussed his stance on Medicare for all, economic inequality, and climate change. While Rogan asked questions that helped viewers see Sanders as a person, not just a left-wing politician. The response was arguably positive, showing the power of the podcast's open format in reaching audiences who might not engage with politics in traditional media like CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News. Andrew Yang. Then came the new politician Andrew Yang, an entrepreneur and 2020 presidential candidate who used his appearance on Rogan's show to introduce his idea of universal basic income, also known as UBI. Yang's time on the Joe Rogan experience helped push him to national fame, bringing a once fringe idea into the mainstream. The impact was huge news. Viewers felt Yang's interview allowed them to understand his ideas without the media's usual bias, making the policy accessible and relatable. This success shows other politicians that a spot on Rogan's show could potentially make or break a candidate, especially among younger audiences. Tulsi Gabbard. Another notable guest was Tulsi Gabbard the newly minted Republican who appeared on the show multiple times during and after her 2020 presidential campaign. Known for her anti-war stance, Gabbard talked openly with Rogan about issues that were often overlooked in traditional political coverage. Rogan's platform allowed her to discuss her military service, views on foreign policy, and critique of party politics without the fear of quick cut sound bites. Gabbard's interviews highlighted how Rogan's podcast could give candidates a chance to express views that might not fit neatly into the channels like CNN and your usual standard political narrative. Elon Musk. While not a political candidate, in 2018, Rogan also hosted Elon Musk whose episode quickly became one of the most viewed and watched in podcast history. While Musk isn't a politician, 
His influence on public policy and technology made his appearance feel political. Politicians noted the massive audience Musk's episode attracted and began to see Rogan's show as a platform with a reach that rivaled traditional media. The fact that Musk discussed major policy issues such as space exploration, artificial intelligence, and other things added to Rogan's appeal as a place for serious, future-focused conversations, influencing politicians to engage more with the Joe Rogan experience. The Trump Interview with only days until the 2024 so presidential election between Mark. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, it has been announced Donald Trump has yeah, been interviewed on Friday, October 25th of 2024. Uh, so Will Joe Rogan lead his <laughs> thumbprint on the 2024 yeah. presidential Cheers, election? It is safe Thanks to say it. that it is highly likely well, his podcast will have a big impact too. on swaying yeah. votes. I got a chance to look at Trump factory, will be himself was, uh, and almost, get to weave uh, in and out of subjects and so? like he enjoys doing with was no it? deadline. It, was a while it is likely this episode will be over two hours yeah, long, at least a year. likely it's becoming a year. the most and viewed interview in media history. The future of the Joe Rogan experience. As Rogan's podcast continues to grow, the role it plays in political media keeps evolving. It remains a place where politicians can be both challenged and celebrated, depending on the direction the conversation takes. The long format offers a unique space for open, raw conversations that might not otherwise never happen on mainstream channels, allowing the audience to really get to know the individual being interviewed. Thanks for joining us on History Everywhere as we explore the impact of the Joe Rogan experience on political discourse. If you enjoyed this dive into modern history, hit the yeah. subscribe button <laughs> and turn on notifications for more that? deep dives <laughs> into how history unfolds in unexpected places. Thank you for tuning in. It's pretty edgy.